Hey gang, in this video, let's go over the difference between record choice and collection choice sets in Salesforce Flow. First, let's backtrack. Choice sets are a way to guide users in your screen flows to select one or more options from a set of limited options, aka choices. And you can have choice sets based on Salesforce pick list fields, Salesforce records, or any of the other data types. Now, record choice sets and collection choice sets both use a record collection. Remember, record collections are a type of variable that basically allow for storing more than one Salesforce record. This is different from a single record variable, which is a flow resource that only allows for a single Salesforce record. But back to our choice sets. If they both require record collections, then what exactly is the difference between the two? The difference is really in how they do this. A collection choice set is configured using a record collection variable that already exists somewhere in your flow. So whether that be from a get records element or some other step. Whereas with the record choice set, you're defining your record collection criteria and configuring your choices directly within that flow resource. And that's probably the simplest way to explain the difference. So now that we've got that down, let's check this out in Salesforce. In this example, we have a screen flow that allows the user to register for a single event, which we store in Salesforce using the campaign object. When the user submits, a campaign member record is created with their contact. The event choices you see here are linked to those campaign records via a collection choice set. That choice set is configured so that the user can see the campaign name as it appears in Salesforce. But when they select a choice, it's actually the campaign ID being chosen behind the scenes. Let's see what this looks like in the flow builder. Remember that a collection choice set is based on a record collection. So in this get records element, we're filtering for our active webinar campaigns and making sure the element pulls all the records that it finds instead of just a single record. This is what makes our record collection. Now, in terms of the fields, remember that I said the user is using the campaign name to select the campaign ID that they want to register for. So I'll make sure our get records element is at least storing both the campaign name and ID at minimum. Okay, time to get that record collection variable into a collection choice set. In our flow resources, we can create a collection choice set and choose from any available collection variables in our flow. Now remember that whenever you're creating choices in the flow, you need to configure three things, the choice label, the data type, and the choice value. The label is what appears to our users on screen. So in this case, that'll be the campaign name. Now the data type just describes the format of the actual value that the user is selecting. So remember when I said that the user is really selecting the campaign ID? Well, IDs are a text field, so we'll choose the text data type. And finally, for our choice value, the campaign ID. So let's quickly recap what this setup does. When our user selects their desired webinar date from this list of choices, which are populated from our get records element, the campaign ID value is selected. We then take that ID in our flow to create a campaign member record for their contact. And in our screen element, we can see where we're pulling in our choice set resource or our screen flow. So that's how a collection choice set works when you have a record collection variable that already exists in your flow. But let's say we didn't have this get records element, meaning we don't have a collection variable of those campaigns. Another option for getting our list of webinars is via a record choice set. In the resources section, we can create a record choice set that queries for those campaign records we want available in our screen flow. So when we're creating our resource, we'll choose a record choice set instead. We'll choose the Salesforce object to query on, which in this case is campaigns. And then much like our get records element earlier, this is where we can configure our filter logic. 
We can also choose our sort order. And then configure our choice labels, data types, and values. So this is very similar to what we just did with our collection choice set. And in this section, if you wanted to assign specific campaign field values into your flow as certain variables, you would do that here. But for our use case, we don't have to do that now. So then once we have our record choice set configured, we can go into our screen element and choose that new record choice set as an option which lets our flow work exactly the same way. So to recap, the difference between record choice sets and collection choice sets is all in how you get the record collection variable that populates each. Record choice sets are definitely a more direct way of creating choices based on Salesforce records. However, collection choice sets are a great option if you already have the record collection variable that you need or if you need to use a record collection variable elsewhere in your flow. So I hope this video was helpful in explaining the difference between these two choice set options. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks!